Hey, welcome to Hathaway 101. My name is Corey Freeman, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use font face fonts so that you can use web, uh, not web fonts, but fonts available other places that you might want to download, like something cartoony, uh, on your website. So it's actually fairly easy, um, but the first thing we need to do is grab a font. So let me go to the A font and pick one up. No, no, um, strawberries. All right, let's say we want this one. Okay, so we've got true type font, and now we actually want to convert it into two other font types. First one is SVG. And all I've done here is Googled how to change a true type font into an SVG font. Select your font when you find the converter you like, and convert to SVG. And we also want to do EOT. Okay. And then we're going to download. Now, the next thing we want to do is upload these fonts to our website. The easiest way, oh, whoops. The easiest way would be to create a new folder in the child theme and call it fonts. Because we're going to use CSS as well, and this will just make things work a lot easier. Uh, but in the fonts folder, I'm going to change the name of this to Grush to make it shorter. Uh, and that was my EOT. I'm going to change this to the same thing, and that's my SVG, and then I'm going to change this to the same thing, and that's my two type font. Okay, so now I've got our fonts uploaded in the right formats. Those three file formats, SVG, EOT, and true type font, which is TTF. Now I've got my child theme CSS file open, let me make this bigger. And I'm going to steal one from what I did earlier uh, to make this more magical. Basically, what we're going to do is type at font face, font family. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to call it brush. Ah, no. What did you? And then here we've got our source. And we're going to change it. We're, we have fonts. We're going to change existence because I was using it earlier to Grush. And the same thing here. Our true type font and our SVG font. Okay. So this is the code you're looking for. And if you look at the text version of this tutorial, you'll be able to copy and paste this. I'm going to hit save. The final thing we need to do is just use it like any other font family to select to isolate an element and give it that style. So let's use the entry title since that's the easiest one to remember. Body.custom.entry title font family in quotes brush uh, or let's say sans serif. And now if we reload Oops. Looks like I missed something. Fonts. Fonts. Ah, I spelled Gretsch wrong. My bad. Stop changing. 
Now if we reload, you'll see we have the correct volumes. And you can see you can highlight this text so it's not like an image replacement. Um, I can make it blue, and I can make it bigger. So it's slightly more complicated than working with Google Fonts, but at Fontface is a good way to add a more variety of fonts to your web design. Um, check out the written tutorial if you need code to copy. I'm Corey Freeman. Thanks for watching.